<clears throat> Alright, hello YouTube, it's Matt, uh, Suit145, Suit, whatever you may know me by, here with another video, um, once again, not once again, I haven't even thanked you guys, thank you for 200 subscribers, it really means a lot, and I'm glad that you guys enjoyed the content, and are just viewing it in general, um, I hope to get more consistent with videos and everything, um, in the near future but today we are going to be doing something simple I have to cut this into maybe like a three-part tutorial but um, today we're just gonna be learning how to make simple clothing simple cloth like like a v-neck shirt low poly shirt or something so yeah basically what I have up right now super simple Let's go ahead and get started. So I will link this um, template in the description below. So, <clears throat> all right, yeah, let's get started. Uh, super easy to do this. All you have to do is duplicate the limb. So for this instance, it will be the torso you will press shift D to duplicate click go into edit mode you can press tab press S scale up just a bit alright go to material properties <laughs> get rid of this color this texture hit new just gonna pick a random color make sure you select use nodes uh, pick like I pick a green. We'll make a little V neck. <coughs> <coughs> I apologize. It's like 3 a.m. in the morning right now. Uh, scale it down just a bit. You can press C to select highlight, and then you're just basically selecting the bottom vertices. You want to scale it in horizontally across the x-axis. Since we are making a, a v-neck, um, select the top with C, move it down some, and then uh, towards your back, do the same, but select it, move it up to the front, simply press E. and then scale it in just a bit so I use an analogy here for what I'm about to do um, let's say the green right here the duplicated torso it's going to be the shirt but for right now we'll just refer to it as the dough right here we have the cookie cutter that we just shaped this is going to cut a shape into the dough, basically. If you guys know what the Boolean modifier is, you probably know um, what I'm referring to. If not, I'll show you guys what I am talking about. Make sure you select this right here, your torso, your shirt, your dough. You want to go to the wrench icon. Uh, hit add modifier boolean boolean basically just allows you to cut holes into objects make sure it's on difference it should be on difference by default but just make sure select under object there's a dropper icon hit that yeah have it on, um, under your mouse it'll be your mouse basically select the cube or the whatever object uh, you have that cube selected from here all you have to do is press apply but let me show you if I were to move this right now you see nothing happens if I were to apply this modifier a shape gets cut into the object and I apologize for this you may have these little vertices 
you may have to uh, just to delete them. This Roblox is weird. Yeah, let me show you what I just did. Alright, so if you do do the um, method where you duplicate the torso or lamb, you may want to. Um, there's something called doubles. What you're seeing right here is um, the product of doubles. It's weird how Roblox made their bodies. Um, you can't really edit it, so they, have, they they triangulate it and they add doubles. But you can remove the doubles. You want to right click on it. Make sure you um, you have vertices selected. Right click, merge vertices by distance. Get to remove them. It's more or less smooth right now. But if you're like me and you want it to be sharp, um, you'll probably have to clear custom split normals data, which is under geometry data in this green triangle tab. So do that. Make sure auto smooth is on or off. It depends on your preference. I like my clothing to be sharp. So, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. For basic clothing, like a low poly face, I don't even know the word. A low poly feel. If you ever played uh, Vistaria, something like that, uh, do the same thing for the arms. We'll change the color. Green. And we can go ahead and mirror modifier. Pretty simple. You do the exact same thing for the pants. You can get creative. Um, <clears throat> you can add a little design. Like you can texture the front of the shirt. You can go into studio, probably do a little decal. I can't. I I honestly don't know how to texture to save my life. So, but you can do a little design for sure. You can slap a picture right on here, make it transparent, boom, you have a shirt. You can do a lot of things. Um, before I like to stop the tutorial, sorry, I'm pretty sleepy. Um, I plan to do advanced tutorials on this. Um, let's see, like Sun Eater. It's pretty cool. One of my favorite 3D cloth I've done. It's pretty cool. I wouldn't even call it cloth. I'd, I'd call it armor. Something like that. But it... it you would definitely be able to make custom character rigs and stuff like that. That's my goal. I'm to help you guys. Do not do this. Not appropriate for Roblox. Ignore that completely. Um, don't say it. Next tutorial will probably be... I know this was short, but... It was pretty simple. Next tutorial would probably be more something advanced towards this, not too crazy or anything, but like actual clothing, suits, something with variety, you know. A little tank top, you know. Yeah, I'd do something like this next tutorial. And then further we go. You know, I get more crazy. Might do some armor. Get your armor down. Let me see this. Not cut. Yeah, probably do some armor. 
probably finish off with armor, actually. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much the end of the video. Once again, I just want to thank you all for your support. And yeah, I just really appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section for me. And like, subscribe, share. Have a good day. Bye.